Next is question number 66 where it is given that let A, B and C be the coterminous edges of a parallel pipe with modulus of A vector equal to 2, modulus of B vector equal to 3 and modulus of C vector equal to 4. If angle between each of A and B, comma, B and C, comma, C and A is pi by 3, then the volume of the parallel pipe is. Now, we know that volume of the parallel pipe is equal to A, B, C, right? Now, if I find V square, then it will be equal to determinant of A dot A, A dot B, A dot C. Similarly, B dot A, B dot B, B dot C. C dot A, C dot B, C dot C, right? Now, A dot A will be equal to magnitude of A whole square, which will be equal to 4. Similarly, B dot B will be equal to magnitude of B whole square, which will be equal to 9. And here, it will be magnitude of C whole square, that is 16. Now, A dot B will be equal to magnitude of A into magnitude of B into cos theta. Right, so A dot B will be equal to magnitude of A that is 2 into magnitude of B that is 3 into cos theta. Right, that is cos of 60 degree which will be equal to sin 30 that is 1 by 2. So, this will be equal to 3. Right, similarly A dot C will be equal to 8 into 1 by 2 that is 4. B dot A will also be equal to 3 and B dot C will be equal to 4 into 3 upon 2 that is 6, right? Now, solving this determinant, it will be equal to 4 times 16 into 9 that is 144 minus 36 plus 3 times 24 minus 16, 3 is of 48 plus 4 times 18 minus 36. Now, solving this, we will get it equal to 288 that is volume V will be equal to 12 into root 2 cubic units. That is the correct answer is option number 2. Now next is question number 67 which says that if the difference of mod and median of a data is 36 then the difference of median and mean is right. So here it is given that mod minus median is equal to 36. And we have to find the value of median minus mean. Now, we know the relation between median, mod and mean. That is, mod is equal to 3 times median minus 2 times mean. Right? Now, we are given the value of mod minus median. So, subtracting median on both sides, we will get mod minus median equal to 2 times median minus 2 times mean. So, taking 2 common, we will get this, right? So, this will be equal to mod minus median, which is given equal to 36, equal to 2 times the required value. Let, let us take it equal to x. So, the value of x is equal to 36 upon 2, that is 18. So, the correct answer is option number 2. Next is question number 68, which says that if the mean of the cubes of first n natural numbers is 1900 then the median of first n natural numbers is right now mean of the cubes of first n natural numbers that is 1 cube plus 2 cube plus similarly up to n cube now to take mean we have to divide it by n now this is given to be equal to 1900 right now we know the sum of the cubes of first n natural numbers that is equal to n into n plus 1 upon 2 whole square. So, it can be written as n square into n plus 1 whole square upon 4 times n. This is given to be equal to 1900. Now, cancelling n, we will get n into n plus 1 whole square to be equal to 19 into 400. Now, rearranging these, we can write it as 19 into 20 whole square. So, comparing both the values on right hand side and left hand side, we can see that n is equal to 19, right? Now, but what we have to find out is that 
we have to find the median of first n natural numbers. That is, we have to find the median of 1, 2, 3 up till 19. Now, as the number of terms is odd, we know that median will be equal to n plus 1 upon 2th term when the data is arranged in ascending order, right? So, this will be equal to 10th term and 10th term will be equal to 10, right? So, the correct answer is option number 3. Next is question number 69, which says that words from the letters of the word attention are formed by taking all letters at a time. The probability that neither two T's nor two N's are together is. So, here the word given is attention right a double t e n t i o n that is it have three t's two n's and a e i o right these are the words it have now to find the probability firstly we have to find the number of elements in the sample space right which will be equal to Total words which can be formed from these words. Now, the total letters are 9. So, this will be equal to 9 factorial upon 3 factorial into 2 factorial, right? These are the number of elements in the sample space. Now, number of elements in R event E will be equal to, let us say, equal to N1 minus N2, where N1 is equal to number of words when no two t's are together and let us say that n2 is equal to number of words when no two t's are together but two n's are together now to find n1, it will be equal to number of words when no two t's are together. So, t's ko hata ke, hum baaki jo letters hai, unko arrange kar dete pehle, right? So, kitte letters hai baaki hai maare paas? 6, right? So, they can be arranged in 6 factorial upon 2 factorial. Itne ways mein humne baaki ke letters ko arrange kar diya. Now, to get the words when no two t's are together, humare paas 7 gaps hai. 7 gaps mein se hum 3 seats Select करेंगे और उनको किसी एक तरीके से वहाँ बिठा देंगे, right? So into 7c3, this is the value of n1. Similarly, we will find the value of n2, which will be equal to number of words when no two t's are together but two n's are together. अब n's को हम एक मान लेंगे, right? So the total number of words are five. Five factorial ways में हमने इनको arrange कर दिया and we have six gaps, right? So, 6 gaps may say we have to select 3. So, it will be 6C3, right? Now, N1 minus N2 will be equal to number of elements in event E, which will be equal to 1, 0, 2, 0, 0. So, to find the probability of the event E, it will be equal to 1, 0, 2, 0, 0 upon 9 factorial into 3 factorial, that is 6 into 2. So, this will be equal to... 85 upon 252. That is the correct answer is option number 4. Question number 70 is the next which we are going to discuss now. Which says that out of 6 faces, die A has 3 red and 2 white faces. Whereas die B has 2 red and 3 white faces. A coin is tossed at random. If it shows a head, the game continues by throwing the die A. And if it shows tail, then the die B is to be used. If the probability that every time die B is used is 16 upon 97, when it is given that every time red turns up, every time in first n throws, then the value of n is. Now here, let us assume that even be the event when die A is used and E2 be the event when die B is used and let R be the event that the die shows a red face, right? So, here 
the probability that we are given is that every time die b is used that is probability that of e2 when it is given that every time red turns up every time in first n throws when it is given that red face shows up right now we have given the probability of this now this can be equal to probability of e2 intersection r upon probability of r now this can further be written equal to probability of e2 intersection r means firstly e2 will occur and then probability of getting r when we know that e2 have already happened upon probability of getting the event r r kaise aa sakta hai pehle ya to hamare paas even event occur ho to into probability of r when even have already occur plus probability of e2 into probability of r upon e2 right now here we know that the probability of occurrence of event e1 will be equal to 1 by 2 also probability of occurrence of event e2 will also be equal to 1 by 2 kyunki 1 by 2 hi possibility hai head aane ki and tails aane ki right also probability of occurrence of r when e2 have occurred is equal to E2 मतलब डाय बी इज यूज नाउ फॉर डाय बी वी नो दैट वी हैव टू रेड फेसेस राइट सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू टू अपॉन टोटल फेसेस कितने होते हैं सिक्स राइट नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एन थ्रोज सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू रेस टू दार एन सिमिलरली प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ आर वेन इवन हैव अकर्ड विल बी इक्वल टू डाय ए मे वी हैव थ्री रेड फेसेस so this will be equal to 3 upon 6 raised to the power n right so this will be equal to see probability of e1 and e2 both are equal so these can directly be cancelled so this will be equal to 2 raised to the power n upon 2 raised to the power n plus 3 raised to the power n now this is given to be equal to 16 upon 97 16 can be written as 2 raised to the power 4 upon 97 now here if i take n equal to 4 then i can see that 2 raised to the power 4 plus 3 raised to the power 4 will be equal to 16 plus 81 which is equal to 97 so the value of n will be equal to 4 that is the correct answer is option number 4